I was raised up, both of my parents, uh, one was a drug dealer, one was a cop. And they didn't like each other by the time I was born. So all my young, uh, my teenage years, I had a death wish. I, I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of, but I had to do them to survive. And being young and full of cum, there's things that you do. But when I actually died twice, I was in a coma. Uh, I think having AIDS gave me something to live for. Uh, and that's, I tell a lot of people that, and they were like, how is that? I said, because I had a death wish before I had HIV. Now HIV, my, I have a path that I can explore. So I'm, you know, and me being a caseworker, uh, when I contracted it, I, I, people, how you feel? I said, well, only thing, I'm not shameful of having HIV, but I'm mad at myself for not practicing what I preach to people. That's just basically it. I didn't practice where, you know, I used to tell people, you don't want to catch HIV, use a condom. But it's easy to tell people that it's hard to do, to do it yourself. Uh, about a month ago, one of, my, one of my peers asked me, Pedro, I'm afraid to have sex with women. I said, why? I don't want to give the disease to somebody. I said, you don't have to be afraid, just be careful. He said, well, how you do it? I said, well, I'm different. I, I speak, I don't talk to people that are positive, women that are positive. I talk to women that are negative. He was like, how you do that? I said, well, I put, it, I put my disease on the table first. They can either choose to go with it or not. Most times, nine times out of 10, they're gonna go with it because I'm extremely honest to even put it on the table when other men won't put it on the table. So women will be like, well, if you're not scared and you're taking care of yourself, I just help you take care of yourself and be with you. And that's, you know, I, and I'm a heterosexual man. A lot of heterosexual men don't wanna talk. I have no problem talking about it. I'm, it ain't going away.